do like to hop right into these videos, but just give me like 30 seconds to preface this one. We are going to be creating a blank project to go start to finish publishing, building and publishing to Steam. Uh, we're doing a blank one. You can use whatever you want. If you just want to practice along with me, just open a new third person. Uh, we are going to go pretty quick through the first couple steps because there's a lot of setup we have to do before we actually get started. Um, and I'm going to go pretty quick, but I will link videos that go slower over specific parts if you don't understand what I just did or something like that. Anyways, let's get into it. So we're going to, like I said, create a brand new project. We're going to call this Steam Demo Build. And starter content checked, blueprint, good to go. So the first requirement we're gonna set up, well, we have several, but we're gonna set these up within the uh, Unreal project. And then we need to download stuff from Steamworks. So first things first, let's go ahead and we need to add a C++ class to convert our project to a a uh, hybrid project so we can build it. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch uh, my building and publishing your first project video. This, that will cover this part we're about to do. And let's get into it. So we need to new empty blueprint class, not blueprint, where is C++, there we go. All right, now that we have added it, we're just gonna go ahead and build the solution. Make sure your project is closed. All right, we completed our build. Now we can reopen our project. And now we're going to navigate to our plugins. And we're gonna make sure we have access to the Steam online subsystem. All right, now that our Steam Online subsystem is enabled, we're going to need to go back into our project file, go to our config, and open your default engine, INI. What we need to do is actually add some stuff uh, here, and we can find this from the Unreal documentation. I'll leave this in the description so you can look at it yourself. Uh, we can just copy paste it in. Now you'll notice here that it says Steam Dev App ID 480. This is a public testing app ID. Once you pay for and have your own app ID, you'll know what I'm talking about in the future, on Steamworks, you will replace this value here with your private one for your game. But for now, we can just save this and leave that as 480. And then we are going to actually build, uh, we need to go up here to uh, file project settings or edit project settings. We need to go to packaging. We need to go to full rebuild. We want a build target of Steam demo build. And I believe that is good for this screen. Now we can go to Windows, Package Project. It is going to build it um, in a new folder we will create called Windows and inside here. Now we can click our output log to see what it's doing and wait for it to finish. Build and just to verify it does what we expect it to. Just from here, we can actually test to make sure it's configured correctly by hitting shift tab. And you can see here, we are indeed connected to Steam. It says we're playing Space War because that is the default app ID name. So if you used your custom app ID when you purchased one from Steamworks, uh, it would be called whatever your game is called. Now we have our project and game configured for Steam. 
but if you have your own app ID, you'll know that this doesn't quite get it on your Steamworks. So we need to get some stuff from uh, Steamworks to actually publish our game to Steam. So what we can do is download it from here. And again, I will leave this in the description. Download the latest SDK and extract it to a folder that works for you. Once you've actually downloaded the SDK, you can go into it and it will look something like this. We're gonna wanna go ahead and go into this tools and open our Steam Pipe GUI. So once you open your Steam Pipe GUI, it's, you're gonna be greeted by something that looks kind of like this. You probably will have this blank as well. It's okay, we'll can cover that. So what we need to do is get our custom app ID. Now you can find that on your dashboard of your Steamworks. So right next to your app name, you will see the test ID or the app ID. Right next to your app, you'll see the app ID, Steam Pipe GUI, and we would enter our, let's say, app ID here. Our build description would be, let's say, Steam Test. We would add a depot. Depot ID can be that. We're gonna add our build path, which would be where our game was built to. So that Windows folder, for instance, is going to be in my document Unreal Windows folder. So I'm just gonna select the Windows folder. The next thing we're gonna to need to do is find our Steamworks SDK content builder path. And that's gonna live inside our tools folder, the same SDK folder we downloaded. And then we're gonna go inside of our content builder and hit okay. Now you're gonna log in with your Steamworks account and press upload. And that's all you have to do to publish your, start uploading your game to Steam. So when I do this, for example, it's going to start publishing my game to Steam. Now, once your upload completes, you will actually need to go to your builds page and select your recently uploaded build. What you'll do is select the default app branch, select preview change, and set build live now. That will send an update to Steam. Well guys, that was a doozy of an instructional video. Hopefully you made it to the end and aren't too lost. If you did and were able to get it working, hopefully I have earned your like, comment, or subscription today. Alternatively, we have a Patreon as well. Super alternatively, I just wrote my first urban fantasy book if that sounds interesting to you you can check it out in the description below either way i appreciate you all for watching and i'll see you in the next video